Hi everyone, we're at uh, Monktoberfest, the Red Monk Brew Conference in Portland, Maine, and with me here I have Steve, and I've forgotten your last name, Steve. It's okay. No one should be required to remember it, it's <laughs> Citron Pusti. It's, I go by Steve CP. <laughs> Thank you for making that easy for me. You're welcome. Steve, you gave a talk at the conference this afternoon on, uh, well, a lot of it touched around privacy, I think. Well, I think that's because the audience really wanted to talk about privacy. That was Most of them weren't geo people, so they really understood the privacy issue. I, it was more about um, how spatial plays part in how people think about the world and then how we might think about evolving tech to help people make their lives easier and where that might lead in the future. So, uh, as you say, a lot of the audience wanted to talk on privacy. G- give me, give me the, the 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 two minutes summation of the uh, of the, the 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 talk you gave, and and we'll we'll talk a bit about, about privacy then. Okay, so the summation was people organize the world in three ways. They organize it through uh, space, time, and social relations. That's basically how humans think. And then I was talking some about how that plays out in terms of the new apps we're seeing, like Foursquare and things like that. And then I was also talking some about, well, where's the technology at? Like, we really need better batteries. And then I started to talk about where the future might lie. Like, there's a, this is a whole new fertile ground, this whole mobile, like your whole life and all your virtual personalities are on your phone. Mm. And so how is that actually going to play out in the future in the way that other new technologies have evolved how people think about the world? So, And as, as you said, there was a lot of uh, a discussion around the, the privacy issues that came up. Uh, How do you think we're going to be handling those? Well, first of all, what what kind of privacy issues did people bring up, and how do you think we're going to have to handle those? Uh, Well, I think... I think a lot of people were talking about how it is a thorny issue, right? Like privacy is a hard thing to get your head around. And there's generational differences in how people think about privacy and in different spheres where they think about privacy. Like my work privacy is nothing like my private privacy, right? So uh, there's, and by private, I mean like my home life and things like that. And so there was a lot of discussion from people who had worked in the browser space because they had dealt with like cookies and tracking. And so they had a good sense of privacy. And I was trying to somewhat say that You know, I think privacy is a big issue now, but as more and more people get used to this idea of sharing their location and as tools evolve to how people think about location, that I think we'll we'll see an evolution in how people deal with privacy in their virtual space as as how it ties to their actual physical space. I I, I think, uh, if if I remember correctly, you said something along the lines of, uh, as there are more and more pictures of drunken frat parties going up online, it becomes less embarrassing to be in in one of them. Exactly. And so the same thing with privacy. So the more and more times you see me at a club on a Friday night, that's not really that big a deal that I was out drinking on a Friday night, because that's what most people do. Right now, it would be like, oh, I can't show that on my phone because my boss might see that and know that I drink on Friday nights, where it's really... As more people realize that this is all what we do, it's not as big of an issue. I do think the big issue is going to become when something bad happens to somebody through the sharing of location, and then that'll start a big uproar about it, and then it'll kind of settle out again after that. So, so it'll be like a pendulum. It'll swing one way and then the other, and, and then, then settle down in the middle somewhere. And, and I think the other thing that happens is as more people do it, it's like driving a car, right? Like, So driving a car is actually dangerous. But because it's what we all do, we don't all sit and think, man, I'm not driving a car today because I might die when I go out and drive a car. And so it's the same thing with sharing my location. Like, oh, that person shared their location and they died, but it brings too much... It's a trade-off. People are willing to trade that kind of information for value. So if, if the space evolves in such a way, and by value I don't just necessarily mean money, but if that space evolves in such a way that, yeah, there's a lot of value, like my life is much easier because I share my location or I have a greater sense of security around my kids or something like that, they would be necess- they might be willing to share that information as long as they're not surprised by what comes out of sharing that information. Great. That's been fantastic. Thanks a million, Steve. Thanks. This is one of the best conferences I've been to all year. Thanks so much for inviting me.